Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap basics here. Yesterday we made this nav bar transparent and moved the slider up behind it. Today we're going to do the last in our series on this slider and we're going to show you how to change it from sliding left to right to fading in and out and also how to change the actual timing for each slide perhaps if you want one for five seconds and one for two seconds very easy to do and we're gonna look at this page on get bootstrap for our carousel stuff here and I'll put this link below and if we want to change our carousel from sliding left to right into a fading one all we have to do is add this class of carousel fade here so I'm just going to copy that control C I'm going to go to our text editor we've been using brackets for this brackets is a free text editor you can download it from a link below this video like I said, it's totally free. It's got some great features, but any text editor will do. So if you've got one, just go ahead and use that. So we're on our index HTML page here. Here's our carousel. Here's the class that's got carousel slide. After that, we don't need to wipe that out. We just need to put it after it, a little gap, and paste in the carousel fade. Save, Control S, go back to our site. Now before I refresh, you'll see that the slides are sliding left to right. When I refresh, they should stop that and start to fade in and out. So let's just refresh. There we go, they're actually fading in and out there. Some people prefer that. I actually prefer that. That's quite a nice effect. Okay, so that was really easy to do. Next thing we want to do is change the actual timing for each slide. And again, it's very easy. If we go back to our bootstrap, get bootstrap site here and have a look a little further down, we'll have a look at caros carousel item interval. And this tells the, each slide how long it needs to display for. And here we have it right here, data interval. 10,000 that would be 10 seconds because it's thousandths of a second so let's grab that from the D all the way to the closing inverted comma there not including the pointy bracket on the end control C to copy let's go back to our brackets and we need to put this just after our initial class of carousel item on each one so after the inverted comma there a little space paste that in let's give this first one say six seconds which would be six thousand milliseconds and let's give this second one carousel item just after the inverted comma let's give this one say four seconds which would be four thousand milliseconds and the last one carousel item just after the inverted comma space let's just make this one a real short one and make it two two seconds two thousand milliseconds save that control s go back to our site and refresh and we'll have them fading again but different intervals between each slide first one two three four five six thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand one thousand two thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand so you see you've got the first one for six the second one is four seconds and the third one's just two seconds there which is far too short but it was just an example. Let's change that third one back to 5 seconds. 5,000 milliseconds. Control S. Back to the site. There 
There's that first one for six, second one for four, and third one for five. At least they can get to all the buttons that way. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to change it from a slider to a fader and also to change the individual display times of each of the slides there. So this is our last in the slider series here. There's been quite a few, but there's quite a lot going on with the slider. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.